I'm always a bit reluctant to give any advice to anyone that includes the words never or always because every context is different, every teacher is different, every learner is different, but never do this made a much catchier title than this isn't usually very helpful in most classrooms. So go ahead, shoot me. To be honest, with this particular thing, I do feel quite justified in using never, though. If you want to know what it is, keep watching. I'm Joga Conga. I'm a teacher educator, I'm a CELTA trainer and assessor, an MAT soul tutor, and I've got a website at elttraining.com where I make video-based material for English language teachers at all stages of their careers. Check it out. And if you like this, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I make a new video every week. Okay, let me put you out of your misery if you're in any. The thing that I think that you should never do in your classroom is use sarcasm. <coughs> Certainly not sarcasm that's aimed against a learner or a class. When I was in school quite a long time ago, I had a French teacher who was incredibly acerbic. Probably the result of long years of teaching teenagers who had little or no interest in learning French. And I get that it's probably a pretty thankless task. But he was the teacher, and so in my book, that means it was his responsibility to help us along that path. I still have a clear memory of being about 14 in a classroom with 30 other kids, making a mistake with reflexive verbs. I'd been daydreaming a bit, to be honest, and I wasn't quite following what he was saying. So when he asked for another example, I fluffed it completely. And I can remember vividly, over 40 years later, how he mimicked my answer and publicly humiliated me. Now, that's probably not what he thought he was doing. He probably thought it was just a joke, but it was how I felt. Sarcasm is really, really destructive. And I think there are three good reasons not to use it in class. Number one is it's an attack and it creates fear and a reluctance to try. If you want to learn a language, you have to practice. And if you're going to try, you have to be afraid not to make mistakes. Remember that as the teacher, you're in a position of power. So you have to use that wisely and create a space where it's okay to make those mistakes. Number two is that it strips all of the joy out of learning. And without enthusiasm, I think no one's gonna go very far. Ask any successful language learner and I guarantee that somewhere in their background was someone who inspired them to learn the language. And that someone was very probably a teacher and very probably someone they liked and trusted. And number three, if all that wasn't bad enough, the very definition of sarcasm is saying exactly the opposite of what you mean. Look at these as examples. So for language learners, this can just be plain confusing. I probably don't have to tell you all of this. I'm sure you're a warm, friendly teacher and you would never behave like this to your learners. But we all have our days, even me. So maybe the next time that you feel a bit frustrated or overworked or overwhelmed, think about that bigger picture and make sure you're not taking it out on your class. Remember that what you say today can be carried by your learners for a long time. One final thought is that I saw this on Facebook and it really fits here. So see what you think. I hope you like it. <laughs>